the goods, right? This is a new comedy movie, and I use the word advisedly, from the Will Ferrell stable, starring Jeremy Piven, who's, um, I mention now because he's apparently a star of Entourage, in which Jason Isaac's featured. And this is, you know, it's yet another of those films in which it's, oh, you know, just grotesquely lowbrow, stupid, you know, barrel-scraping garbage, but does that thing that all those lowbrow, stupid, barrel-scraping garbage comedies do, which is at the end, they pretend that they actually have to be about something else and have a redeeming of it. And I want to see whether it's actually possible to review a movie entirely from the production notes. Listen to this, all right? This is the description of the movie. These things are all taken... Ex- directly from the production though. So it starts off by saying, the new comedy from the makers of Talladega Nights and Step Brothers, raunchy, risque, and politically incorrect. The goods live hard, sell hard is a 500 horsepower ride through a three-day car sale. Okay? So it's a comedy about selling cars. Okay? So now, uh, 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 Mackay, Mr. Mackay, who's one of the producers, says he and his partners are in the enviable position of being able to work on a movie just because we think it's funny. If it makes us laugh, then we want to do it. Over the page, he's the first to admit that he likes to take a joke as far as it can go. And we've certainly done that, he says. But then here, listen to this. This is my favorite moment in the whole thing. Uh, the Goods live, ha- live Hard, Sell Hard, says Mackay, is a great movie to see with, both friend- with friends and to laugh your butt off. But there's also something more lying beneath the surface. <laughs> this is The Goods, remember. Sometimes a movie can transcend the simple form it takes. I don't want to say that I hope this movie changes nations, but maybe, but maybe out of the hundreds of thousands of people who fill the movie theaters, 100 to 150 of them will go through a little change of heart and walk out with a broader view of the world. (laughs) The worst thing about it is, I don't know whether that's meant to be a joke, because the film itself is so witless, so headache-inducingly stupid, so, oh, blimey, why am I having to do this? You know, I (laughs) talked before about uh, watching a movie being like running into a glass door, right? It's so thunderingly unfunny that even if that is a piece of high satire that is apparently taking the mick out of itself, It's unrecognisable as such. It is made by people who clearly have had all their funny bones medically taken out of their bodies.